I'm off on another roaming adventure. I'm out looking for a small gift for someone. I may be starting out on roads that you've seen before, but I'll quickly take a different way and give you a bit of a different view. It's sunny and pretty hot out. Mid-April is when the weather really takes a turn, turn towards more of the summer style weather. And once it turns, the heat won't subside until late October around that time. So it's quite a long summer. hardware store that I'm looking at here sells bricks and other building materials and they also sell refractory bricks and I've purchased quite a few from them in the past. From here, I don't think I've ridden on these roads in a roaming video. Uh, this road here will lead me straight to the presidential building. Up on the left there is the presidential building. Taiwan has a female president. Uh, her name is Tsai Ing-wen. By and large, I stay out of politics both here and back home. Uh, I'm more concerned with my own personal life, if that makes any sense.
this point I'm getting close to the Taipei main train station and they divert traffic this way and that way and I'm not exactly sure why but it's probably to ease congestion. That tall building up ahead was probably the first skyscraper built here. That's the Mitsukoji building. The first time that I came to Taiwan was way back when in 1991. And on that road up ahead where the Mitsukoji building is, there's another smaller building called Asia World. And I stayed in there for a period uh, on the, one of the upper floors was a youth hostel. this area was way different back then. The first time I came here, I remember I had a one-way ticket, a little bit of money, and I didn't even know where anyone here, I didn't know where I was going, had no place to stay, and I wound up in this area. The very first place that I found was a YMCA, and I just crashed there for a day, and it was a little bit expensive, and so I found that youth hostel next door and stayed there for the duration of my first visit to Taiwan, which was five weeks. building on my right there is the Taipei main train station. I think you've seen it in roaming videos but maybe from a different angle. I think what I'll do in an upcoming roaming video is go inside the train station and film and let you see what it looks like on the inside. Lane splitting by scooters and motorcycles is not frowned upon here, and in fact it's a very, very common thing. Must have been a fire in that building up on the left there. There's a whole bunch of fire engines lined up on that road across the street. I decided to go to the store where I buy the wood for my hammer handles. Uh, they have a lot of other stuff like kitchen utensils, uh, wooden, cast iron, bamboo, and the gift that I'd like to give this person would be something they can use in the kitchen. So this is a pretty famous street. It's called Dihua Street. And it's sort of a mix of tea shops and coffee shops, uh, traditional Chinese medicine places, uh, herbs, uh, things like that. And they've restored this to be uh, 
kind of like a historic area so you can see the buildings are lower and everything is pretty organized here so I just need to ride my scooter a bit slow because there's usually a lot of foot traffic on this road this is basically a tourist destination in Taipei The store that I'm going to is on this road, and I've been there before, but I'm sure it's new to some. And here we are. They've got quite a mix of things in this shop and a lot of the stuff in here is made locally. I'll pick up a couple sticks of this wood for my hammer handles as well. I always just call it Asian ironwood. That's what they say here, so a direct translation. But I have it on some authority that that wood is actually from guava trees. The owner of this shop used to be a woodworker, and that's why you can see some equipment buried here and there. In addition to the handle wood, here are the gifts that I picked up. This is the end of Dihua Street, so I'll start to head back towards home. This is one of my favorite roads. A few trees make a big difference.
I want to turn left here, so I've got to do that, what I call substitute turn, or they call wait to turn. You pull into the box up ahead on the right, and then get yourself a line to go left. If you allowed scooters to turn left at big intersections, it would be chaos on top of chaos. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for coming along, and I'll catch you guys next time.